In this short video, we're going to learn about implicit functions and implicit differentiation. Consider the equation x cubed plus y squared equals 6xy. Even if we try to solve this equation for y, we will find that we cannot write y as a function of x. In fact, if we look at its graph, we can see that this graph does not represent a function. It does not pass the vertical line test. At any number of points, I can draw a vertical line and it will cut through the graph in more than one point. In fact, we can see that the curve itself turns around and crosses itself at the origin. However, we still may be interested in knowing what is the rate of change of the function at a specific point. Well, if we focus in on one portion of the graph, that would mean I'm only going to look at certain values of x and y, then it does represent a function. That portion of the graph represents a function. And we can say, that the equation implicitly represents y as a function of x on that portion of the graph. So how would I find the rate of change then of, the, of y with respect to x on that portion of the graph? Well, we're going to use something called implicit differentiation. We're going to rewrite our equation. We're going to replace y with f of x. Now we don't have any a, a formula for f of x, so we're just going to have to work with the symbol f of x. And now we're going to take the derivative. We have three terms here, x cubed, and then quantity f of x squared, and then on the right hand side, we have the one term 6x times f of x. Taking the derivative of the first term is straightforward. Just use the power rule and you get 3x squared. We have to think a little bit more about the second term, quantity f of x squared. Since the inside is a function, we'll have to use the chain rule. So we take the derivative of the outside, that would be 2 times f of x, times the derivative of the inside, which is just f prime of x. Remember, we don't have a formula for f of x, but we still know how to write the derivative of f of x as f prime of x. And with the third term, 6x times f of x, that is a product. 6x is a function. f of x is a different function. So I need to use the product rule. The derivative of the first is just 6 multiplied times the second, which is f of x, plus the first, 6x, times the derivative of the second, which is just f prime of x. Now, if I put these together as they are written in my original equation, I'm going to have an equation that has f prime of x in it. And I can solve that equation for f prime of x. So I'll have to collect all of the terms that have f prime of x on one side. I'm just doing algebra here. And all of the terms that don't have f prime of x go on the other side of the equation. Then I factor f prime of x out of the side of the equation that has the f prime of x. And finally, divide both sides by 
the expression 2f of x minus 6x. Now I can go ahead and restore y to the equation here, replace f of x with y. And now I have a formula for the rate of change in terms of x and y. So really, instead of saying f prime of x, I should say dy by dx is given by this formula. So if I have the x-coordinates and the y-coordinate of a point on this uh, curve, I can calculate its rate of change, which would be the slope of the tangent line. Now, normally we don't go through and do the replacement of y with f of x. I only did that in this example to emphasize that y is an implicit function of f of x. Rather than that, we just simply remember that y is a function of x and that whenever I take the derivative of y, I just write it as y prime. So in our example here, I would still write 2 times y times y prime using the chain rule when I take the derivative of y squared. When I take the derivative of 6x times y, I remember that y is a function of x, so I need to use the product rule. And so I would get the derivative of the first, 6, times the second, just y, plus the first, 6x, times the derivative of the second, y prime. And then I solve for y prime. Well, I will put up a, another video where we do more examples and solve problems using implicit differentiation.